Hey guys, it's Vic. Hi, Desert Man. And I thought I would do a different video for you guys. I started shooting a video of my humidor setup. Um, some of the cigars I have in there, what, uh, how I monitor my humidor and, and all that kind of stuff. I got a couple more parts to shoot, but I'm sitting in Seattle, Washington in my hotel room right now. Let me tell you about my day of travel. Wow, what a freaking day. I... I said I, I didn't have to get to the airport real early this morning like I sometimes have to, so I decided that I'd sleep in. Sleeping in for me is 5.30 in the morning, um, but that didn't work. I ended up getting up at 4.45 to a dog that was throwing up on the floor and uh, gra grabbed him and moved him real quick onto a, a tile floor so that it'd be easier to clean up and <laughs> then uh, d drove into Phoenix, which uh, was a three hour drive. Got to the airport two hours early, and I'm TSA, so, uh, or TSA pre, so I got through uh, security really fast and basically walked around the airport for about an hour and a half until my flight left. Upon my flight leaving, uh, the flight was about three hours, I think two hours and 40 minutes. Landed in Seattle, fired up my phone, and had an email that the work that we're supposed to do tomorrow night, which is uh, Friday night, had been canceled. They canceled it while I was in the air. And so I flew up here for nothing. This is the third weekend I've been in Seattle doing work uh, for this customer, and they canceled it while I was in the air. And then the final kicker, final kicker is I'm in Washington and I can't smoke. That pisses me off. But the, <laughs> to make matters worse with how all that went, um, from the airport to my hotel is like 12 miles. And it took me three hours, almost three full hours to drive 12 miles there's no word and managed to get a flight booked back for tomorrow morning first thing tomorrow morning so I'm saving myself two days about two and a half days which is gonna be really nice um, also I decided that uh, Seattle be damned I am smoking a cigar and what I'm going to smoke is the punch Diablo in the Diabola size which is Robusto um, so I don't have any information on this, so let me find some information real quick. I'll be back. Okay, so the stick is put out by General Cigar, of course. They own Punch, and uh, it's made by A.J. Fernandez. So uh, it fits right in my sweet spot. It's five and a quarter long by 54 ring gauge. Five and a half is my favorite, but uh, yeah, the, this, this is my size. I wish every cigar could be this size. No, I don't, but I love that size. Okay, the wrapper is uh, Ecuadorian uh, Sumatra Oscuro. The uh, country of origin is Nicaragua. The filler is Honduras and Nicaragua. And uh, oh, they call it a Robusto Extra, but, uh, but the size is called the Diabolus. So I, I picked these up, um, not my last trip, but my first trip to Seattle three, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, for I paid eight thirty-three. Get this, I paid eight thirty-three per cigar. That doesn't sound horrible, right? But when I went to uh, Fox Cigar in Arizona, my favorite joint, they sell this cigar for I believe it was five forty-nine for the robusto size. So that tells you a little bit about uh, the taxes and the nonsense that's going on in Seattle. Anyways. Uh, Give me a second to put, uh, cut this and take a draw on it, and I'll be right back. Mm. Okay, the draw is just a little bit snug. Feels like it'll probably loosen up with no problem. It's not bad. Just feels a little bit snug. Um, right off the bat, I'm getting some chocolate. Kevin Shahan, I think this cigar is going to be for you, dude. This, uh, I'm picking up some chocolate right off the bat with this thing. 
Mm. Yeah, just kind of a mild sweetness and uh, very reminiscent of chocolate. The wrapper is uh, is beautiful. The stick is pretty tight. Um, uh, quite literally like a stick. It's got one big prominent vein down the side. It's, it's not bad. I don't know if you can see it there. Kind of... Uh, I still got my camera doesn't want a thing. Um, but the uh, band is pretty cool looking. See if I can focus here. Come on. No. All right, whatever. All right, so I have to go downstairs, and uh, they've got a little, uh, what do you call it? they got a little place, a little colony area down there where they put all the degenerates who smoke. So uh, I'm headed down there, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little while. Okay, guys, I'm back on location, Seattle, Washington, out in front of a courtyard Marriott that is impossible to get into and scratch the chocolate the cold draw had lots of chocolate tasted good this stick is strong I'm uh, I just started and I've been out here for about seven or eight minutes it tastes I've had this wrapper taste that or this taste before and I've often associated it with cigars that are darker Maduro's or Spiro's and in my experience it has always been ones that needed more age this one definitely needs more age I bought three of these I've got two more in the humidor this is the first time I'm smoking it um, the other two I'm gonna let sit for probably at least a year see what they uh, see what they're like after that but It's a, it's a good dose of pepper right, right down the throat. It shotguns you. Um, hits you in the nose as well, but it, it kind of just smacks you right in the back of the throat. And now in the finish, it's, it's still kind of tingling in the nose, almost like a long, not quite as much as a wasabi burn, but kind of has that sensation. But more, like, like concentrated with with pepper poured up your nose it's a strong stick <laughs> I guess it's, it lives up to its name uh, Diablo the devil stick I'm not gonna make it through this stick it's just it's not very good um, it does taste like it will I get a sense that it'll mellow out over time uh, I probably want to give those at least a couple years in my humidor. But everything, every flavor in this stick, which is not much, it doesn't taste complex, it just tastes too much pepper and too much spice. It's a spice bomb. Now, it's not a, it doesn't taste like a dog rocket or a, a bad cigar in that way, like cheap tobacco was used. It just tastes like whatever they were trying to accomplish, they were just trying to accomplish for the sake of doing that thing. Um, it's just too much. It's, it, it's not complex at all. I've got, I'm not even halfway through and I'm, I'm done with it. It just, I'm not enjoying it at all. Not a very fun cigar. All right, guys, in the morning, first thing, I'm headed back to Phoenix, Arizona, my home, and, uh, and I'm done with Seattle for, at least until next year, early next year out here, I have to come back out here. All right, stay rugged, my friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hit me up in the comments, and like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that stuff. Later.